Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Trisha and today I'll be showing you how you can upgrade your Strapi application. So you'll see that there's a message that reads upgrade your admin panel. This simply means that Strapi has released a new version and we are going to be upgrading to that version. So the current version I'm using is version 4.3.4 .4, and we're going to be upgrading that. So I'm going to click on that link and it's taking us straight to the GitHub repository and we see that the latest release is version 4.3.6. Now, before I open my code editor, we need to look into the migration guides that are found here. And the reason why we're looking into the migration guides is because some version updates, they're going to need you to change more than one file and do a lot of configurations. So fortunately for us, there is no migration guide specified to upgrading um, for this version. So I'm going to go back and you can also find the general update guides here. Now I'm going to open my code editor. I'm using Visual Studio and I've already stopped my Strapi server. So now we're going to open the folder where Strapi is installed and go to click open the package.json file. What we're going to do now is we're going to be updating the dependencies. So we're going to change that four into a six. I'm going to do the same for this one, four into six and this one as well, four into a six. So we updated the Strapi at Strapi package, the at Strapi plugin uses permissions package, and the at Strapi plugin internationalization package. And now we have to save that. And we're going to run npm install. So to install the updated packages. And that's done installing. And now we're going to run npm run build. So that builds our admin UI. We're going to wait for that to install. And great, it's installed. And now we're going to do is run npm develop. And we're going to go back into a strapi page and refresh that. And we see that we have successfully upgraded to the latest strapi version. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy coding.